Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to enable and configure the MFA registration policy in Azure Active Directory. Identity protection can help organizations to roll out Azure Active Directory multi-factor authentication using a conditional access policy requiring registration at sign-in. Azure Active Directory Identity Protection includes a default policy that can help get users registered for Azure Active Directory multi-factor authentication. Enabling this policy is a great way to ensure new users in your organization have registered for multi-factor authentication on their first day. If you use additional policies to protect sign-in events, you would need users to have already registered for multi-factor authentication. When you enable this policy, it doesn't require users to perform MFA at each sign-in event. The policy only checks the registration status for a user and asks them to pre-register if needed. It is recommended to enable the MFA registration policy for users that are to be enabled for additional Azure Active Directory identity protection policies. It is also recommended to do a stage rollout for identity protection policies. Essentially, start with the selected group of users or groups to deploy identity protection policies to and then expand to your broader organization. In this video, we will see the steps on how to enable MFA registration policy for selected group of users in Azure Active Directory to test it out. Let's sign in to the Azure Active Directory portal using an account with global administrator permissions. You can access Azure Active Directory portal using the URL https colon double slash aad.portal.azure.com. On Azure AD portal, Click on Azure Active Directory. We are using the user account with global administrator role to perform the steps in this video. Under Manage, click on Security. Under Protect, click on Identity Protection. We will be on Identity Protection Overview page. Under Protect, click on MFA Registration Policy. We will be on MFA Registration Policies page. Under Assignments, we can verify all users are already selected. We can apply this policy to all users or to the selected users or groups. I'll go with specific users and group to test it first. Click on All Users. To provide flexibility, you can also exclude specific users or groups from the policy. Click on Excludes. We are not going to define it. Click on Include. Select the radio button in front of Select Individuals and Groups. Browse for and select the Azure Active Directory group. Here we will select the group named Taste Group 1. Click on Select. Confirm that the Taste Group 1 is selected. Under Controls, we can see Require Azure Active Directory MFA Registration is already checked. By default, the policy enforcement is off. Set the Enforce policy to On and click on Save. We get the confirmation message, successfully save the Azure Active Directory Multi-Factor Authentication Registration Policy. This will enforce the MFA Registration Policy on all the members of Taste Group 1 in our Azure Active Directory. So that's it for this video. In this video, we have seen the steps to enable and configure the MFA registration policy in Azure Active Directory using Azure Active Directory Admin Center. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.